Good morning, folks. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jairo, and in this episode, I'm taking you to the Sea Glass Island. Let's go. And we are joined this morning by... Diane. Diane. Jane. Marley. And Marley. <laughs> we are going to go to the island with these four kayaks here to the other side. And it's going to be a challenge because of the stream, the current. Are you ready for it? Ladies, yeah, let's yeah. go. <laughs> Going there, as I mentioned, but first we'll go on this side because of the current and try to make it as quick as possible. And we can already start seeing all of the sea glass. The ladies already moving away. There are a few blue ones. And uh, yeah, it's very, very interesting to see this. We were here a while back and this shack was made. I was asked by the ladies what it is. We just make them for, as I showed in the previous videos, like a, uh, like a weekend shack where we'll come and spend the weekend here, for example. We also see some other folks here enjoying the island. And we are here on the other side of it. So this one is looking south. And I just found something perfect for Marlene. A heart. Tuk, 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 tuk. <laughs> of the sea glass what do you think of uh, the plate so far oh my gosh it's amazing i've never seen this much in one place in my entire life so it's really really cool it's awesome look at this wow so beautiful And the island itself is very nice, so you can continue walking here and reach another spot. But I'm gonna take a look at what Marlene is spotting on this side. I love you. <laughs> What do you think about the island? I think it's really cool to see all the sea glass. I, I was here before, but I'm here again surprised of what I see. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's special. So on this side is so far the nicest part and with the most sea glass. Let's get down so you can see them. And the history tells that there used to be actually a dumpster nearby that was used by the government and also by the oil refinery, the Lago oil refinery. And they closed it off decades ago, I think in the late 50s or 60s, early 60s. And 
that's when most of these bottles, you know, they drifted away and ended up on this island and started breaking apart. Decades later, we have what we have here today. And my opinion is that, you know, let's try to keep it this way. It's very unique for Aruba. It's very nice to see it and to experience it for sure. And just a beautiful Riff Island as well, beautiful area as we can see in the background. We are more or less in the Savaneta area. You can find just about anything here, all types of glass. The blue ones, I see a few here. Some larger green ones. I think I spotted a larger white one. Seashells and yeah. Oh, even what we call here, like a crystal stone or crystal brown ones. Not an actual crystal, by the way. Well, this has been an incredible experience. I want you to think that if you are coming to this island, take care of our nature. Don't overdo it. Preferably, don't take anything back home with you. And my hope is that at some point, this island does get protected because I do believe that it is necessary. It's quite unique and it's the second time I'm here. And uh, hopefully with this video, we have been able to show you what it's all about.